guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is emily jean i don't think i've ever been so excited for such a random video didn't think so many people would want to see this but i'm very happy that you guys did because this is going to be super fun we are talking all about my cat's favorites or my favorites for my cat as being the owner tools toys all these little things that i feel like you may not think about it's definitely been like such a long learning process so if you guys didn't know um i've been a cat mom pretty much my whole life i had my first cat it was a family cat when i was like seven and he ended up being basically my cat because cats usually bond with one person his name was harry if you guys have been on my channel forever you definitely remember him so he lived till he was like 11 i had him pretty much all growing up and it was more like I said it was more of a family thing and I wasn't as independent at the time so I never really got into like the cat products and raising him as a kitten because he was adopted after Harry passed or he actually ran away and got lost if you guys actually want to hear that story it was from about a year ago um, I'll link it up top if you want to see me very sad <laughs> But through quarantine, actually, I decided to adopt a kitten. My cat Harry was my true life best friend stress reliever. After being about a year without a cat, I thought it was time to get a new one. And in quarantine, I felt like it wasn't quarantine. It was actually like literally a couple weeks before Michigan went into full lockdown. I decided to adopt my cat. I originally actually wanted to adopt like a super old cat that I'd only have for a couple years and just kind of save him and rescue him for a little bit. Um, I ended up adopting a female kitten which was actually the total opposite of what I wanted but it was kind of just felt like it was meant to be at the time and I literally saw two pictures of her and then I picked her up from the vet after she got fixed and she was mine it was so crazy so obviously you guys know her that's Olive Olive is my little kitten and she actually turns one this Friday September 25th I'm so so excited it's just like fun raising a real kitten and like going through that because I never really had that with Harry it was just a little bit different so crazy Currently guys, Olive is actually recovering from an eye injury she had on Monday. Today is Wednesday and she is still recovering. She has a little cone on. Um, she's not in my room right now. She is out in the family room sleeping. But yeah, I just want to mention that because she'll probably come in here later in this video and I'll show you guys and talk about that a little bit. Anyways, that's just a little background story. I have purchased so many different little things and I will say I'm definitely like obsessive over all this pet stuff and you definitely don't need this stuff to have a pet. Um, pets can get very expensive. I just actually enjoy it and I literally go to the pet store as if it's like the mall and I think it's so, so fun. So yeah, let's just get into showing you guys the products. The first things that are just like staring at me and I have to show you are two of her favorite toys. So they are both these fish and I feel like when I normally think about cat toys I think about very small ones like the little puff balls that they like which I used to buy for Harry all the time like the little packs of mice and they would disappear within the first day and like literally never find them because they're so small and when I saw these actually this is the first fish toy that I bought her I think it was at PetSmart or Petco and she loves this toy because it's so big and she can actually like hold it and play with it and almost like snuggle with it plus the feathers which are pretty much all the way gone um she has loved too so I feel like it's a really random tip but try buying like bigger cat toys um, or even like maybe a dog toy but they do have cat toys that are larger which I just never really like realized if that sounds dumb I don't know um, I also got this one I think my dad actually ordered this one because he's an Amazon junkie he loves buying random stuff off Instagram ads or Amazon <laughs> and he bought this one because it's actually like turned on and the tail moved and stuff and it flopped around and olive loved this toy um it was so gimmicky so it's already like dead i'm sure i could change the batteries or something so it doesn't work anymore for that need but it still is a great toy and she loves it and this one is even bigger so i just feel like they're easy for her to play with and they never get lost they're always around it's more of like a comfort toy um i did buy her like a little pack of like sushi rolls which she loves those too and especially when she was like new new we could really like throw those and she could run and get them um but i just feel like these are convenient easy and she really really likes them Okay, going on to a few like little treat things. The first thing is very obvious. Um, I love this brand since we've had dogs in my family and since Harry, the greenies. Um, so these are obviously the cat greenies. They're dental treats um, and it just helps their teeth and that type of health, which is just more convenient. This just is an easy upkeep. She loves them. Obviously they taste super good. So I give her a couple of these a day um, and she loves them. They have a bunch of different flavors. This is a new one I got. 
and she loves them. And it's funny because Harry never liked treats at all. He never cared about a single cat treat in his life, but Olive definitely loves them. So if Olive's being a little fussy or needs attention and I'm busy or something, it's nice to have little cat treats that I can just throw on her blanket and she can run over and kind of get distracted for a little bit while I am doing whatever I have to do. The next little treat I have are the Wilderness Cat Treats. This is the Trout Flavor Crunchy treats and she loves these because of the crunchiness so they're super crunchy these are a lot smaller and this is just literally a treat so i don't give these to her every day this is more of like an every once in a while but i like how small they are she loves like i said she really loves that crunchiness to be completely honest with you guys i don't fully look into ingredients on all my pet products because that's just i wouldn't know any of that anyways and i know none of the stuff is gonna like kill her so it's four cats and i just kind of you know, pick and choose things at the pet store. Or I also love the app Chewy, by the way. So some of these products will be linked um, from Chewy because you can order them online. I did like a couple big orders on Chewy in the very beginning when I first got her. Um, and that was very, very helpful. So just note that. Also, I just wanted to mention catnip. You guys obviously probably know this, but Olive loves this too. And it's another one of those things. If she like hasn't had enough time to play that day and I was really busy and didn't hang out with her maybe later at night, I'll just give her a little pinch and sprinkle this. I actually just sprinkle it on my rug, which is really bad. Don't do that because she'll start scratching at it, but I just honestly don't really mind. I'll sprinkle some on my rug and she'll just roll around and play with it and be distracted, like I said again, just to like give her some sort of entertainment. You're supposed to actually put this on like a scratch board, which she does does have a scratch board and you can sprinkle the catnip on the scratch board um, so I'll actually teach her to hey baby hi baby I'm filming right now okay All right. I love you I love you bye bye, bye, -bye. Going along with the scratch board thing, I honestly like don't care all that much about my furniture even though I should and I'm sure I will as I start to invest in real furniture in my own house and stuff. Olive definitely like, scratches up my carpet and my curtains and things like that and that is because um, since I had Harry, Harry was always declawed which used to be a normal thing. Um, now in Michigan it is illegal I guess technically you can't get cats declawed for humane reasons um I don't really know where I stand with that I'm sure if that still allowed that I would get Olive declawed um because it hurts she can hurt people she can hurt other dogs she can hurt furniture but I did learn that I can clip her nails and it's actually very easy and she's such a good little cat when I do it. So I bought these cat clippers at the pet store as well. They're nice and small. I actually, when I first thought of the idea to clip her nails, I tried to use dog clippers, which was a very bad idea and it didn't go far. And then I was just like very discouraged, which I shouldn't have been because I was using dog clippers. When I was at the pet store recently, this is a recent product. I picked these cat clippers up. I literally just wrap Olive in her baby blanket like a burrito, which I'll show you guys her blanket in a second. And I just pushed all her front nails out, clipped them, and you guys, it makes such a big difference. That has been a huge help because she can't scratch my hand or anywhere anymore because her front claws are just constantly trimmed. And obviously that's also helping with like furniture and climbing curtains and crazy stuff like that. It's just been a lot more easy and I'm happy that I found an easy way to clip her nails um, instead of having to get them declawed or having to go get them clipped. I was thinking about doing that for a while, like taking her to a clipping place, but I felt like it would just be like such a hassle for a cat especially so I'm really happy I learned how to do it with her at home because it just makes it easy obviously saving money I haven't clipped her back nails yet but I am thinking about it the next time because I'm pretty sure the reason she got the cut in her eye is from her back nails from like scratching her head so I do you want to keep those trimmed just so they're not like literally knife sharp at the very top like her nails get extremely sharp so at least just to cut off that sharp tip um, makes it really easy Next is her infamous baby blanket. You guys, this is, if I have to recommend any product, especially if you're getting a new kitten or a new cat and you're bringing them home, this is like essential. And I literally only bought this because I saw it on Chewy and I thought it looked cute, but I didn't think it was going to be as practical and as necessary as it ended up being. So it's literally just a little cat blanket it's like almost like a little pad it's a nice small square um and it's a nice like pretty thick material i just love the shape of it and how small it is so when i first adopted her i always had this laid on my bed actually i'll show you i always had it laid on my bed at the very end of my bed just like 
this to kind of section off so she knows that this is her space and when i did first bring her home she did just get fixed so she was on meds and sleepy so this worked out perfect for her to kind of know that this is her space that i am her owner in my bedroom and things like that especially if you live with other people you know it's it's nice for your pet to have their own space and privacy too and something as simple as this she loves so now even if this isn't on the bed she always sleeps at my end of, at the end of the bed and she kind of just knows like this is her space whether the blanket is there or not now because she is trained from it also this blanket is great like i've talked about before wrapping her up in a burrito to give her meds to cut her nails to do anything where I need to kind of control her because if you guys have a cat um, you know they're not like a dog where it's easily easy to kind of do little things like that with them they're a little bit more independent and don't want to be fussed with for the most part but this makes it really easy because she does love this is her blanket has her scent so when she's laying on it I can literally just like wrap her up super tight like a burrito with just her head sticking out and it makes it a lot easier to do anything that I need to do um, like clip her nails or put eye drops in or things like that so this has been a game changer we also have a catio if you guys watch my vlogs I have this like built-in a wood box in my window that my dad made for olive and it's literally like a patio for olive um so she can kind of get like fresh air and bugs can fly in and out of it we are going to probably have to take it out though as it gets colder because there's no like screen or insulation on it so it makes it hard because my window is pretty much open all the time it's right in front of me by the way i'll like put a picture on the screen so you guys can see what i'm talking about but this blank is also great because during the day i fold it up into a quarter size and it fits perfectly in her little catio as like the padding at the bottom during the day i fold it up put it in there for her to use during the day and then at night i usually take it out and put it at the end of my bed i just think that blanket really did help train her more than i thought it would i bought her like a dome bed i also actually picked this bed up recently too like a classic cat bed um and she doesn't love them she doesn't love the dome bed that much i think it'll be something that she'll like when she's much older she's still kitten phase crazy wants to play all the time but actually this bed did come in handy after I brought her home from the ER on Monday because she was able to rest her head with the cone on on this like ledge and sleep in here so I am happy that I have this because I think there's always like little options like that for your cat to feel comfortable but if you have a problem finding like a bed for your cat totally try the little blanket and it's almost like a little cat pad that she can hang out on or he next are leashes and harnesses um so if you guys watch my vlogs as well you guys know that i take olive on walks i want her to enjoy the outdoors and she loves outdoors um but i just can't risk having a full indoor outdoor cat again it is really hard on me because i wish i could just let her out like i used to with harry because it's so normal for me but i just can't i try to take her out every day definitely doesn't happen every day so I have a harness and leash for her and honestly why she loves it she knows when I put her harness on that she's going outside it definitely took a couple times and she did not like the harness in the beginning by the third or fourth time she knew what the harness meant and she was more excited to have it on and didn't have a problem with it so this is the first one that I got I really love this one you guys always ask where this one's from this is also pet smarter pet co I'll have it linked down below this one's super simple and easy to put on this big part goes at the top of her chest her two arms through and i buckle it and then i just got a normal black leash to go with it i did wish this leash was a little bit longer so i could like sit on my step and have her still explore the lawn pretty far because this is quite short but, but i do love it it works great i love this harness um she could totally get out of this if she wanted to so i could never like tie her up and let her hang outside i definitely have to have my eyes on her but this is the comfiest it's the easiest to put on the quickest and she enjoys it so i highly highly recommend this I did actually purchase this harness and leash set because I did want to get a longer leash and this ended up being the same exact length which was my fault <laughs> for not reading the package well. I mean it's a little bit longer. This harness is a little bit different. It's more of you know like the leash style material. This one I would say if your cat can really get out of stuff you can make this tighter and more snug to your cat and it's harder for them to get out of but this one's also harder to put on your cat quickly. I know whenever I'm taking Olive out it's kind of me in a rush so I like just want to pick her up throw her in this and get her outside for a little bit. This one's a little bit harder to use and yeah but if you do have a problem with them escaping harnesses like this I do highly recommend 
these ones so i don't really use this one all that often to be honest just because it is hard but i do like it and i think it's just for you know different purposes another quick little product that i got in the very beginning is a catnip spray this is amazing to actually start setting up your cat space first got like all her stuff i sprayed her baby blanket with this i sprayed all her little toys with it i sprayed her bed with it just to kind of give that like cat smell so she could lead herself to those areas without me having to like show her because cats are a little bit different so i do really like this whenever i get her new toys or something um that may have like a weird smell that she's not gonna like i'll spray this on it and i feel like it makes her get comfortable with whatever the toy or product bed is and i found it as a good life hack i never Actually knew there was catnip spray until I was scrolling on the app Chewy so this is came this has become very very helpful and I really really like it okay I think the last thing that I have here in front of me to show you is cat carrier that I actually just purchased on Monday when it was an emergency needing to take her to the ER that's a whole nother story I'm actually vlogging today too you guys and I explained the whole cat story in that vlog so I don't want to like go overboard on explaining it I talked a little bit on my IG stories, but basically I had to rush her to the ER on Monday. So I didn't have a cat carrier for her yet because I haven't even had her for a full year. We haven't been going to the vet yet, um, especially during COVID. But I just ran up to the pet store. One of my favorite pet stores near me is Premier Pet Supply. I think it's like a Michigan local brand, but or local pet store but they have multiple locations near me and it's just like such a good pet store it's kind of like the trader joe's of pet stores and i love it um so i picked this up there and i really like this one because it is nice and small and olive is a small cat she is full grown pretty much now but she's still very very tiny so i just wanted a nice small one i liked how this was like a soft case instead of like the hard one the one side you can open completely like that so she can walk in there which was nice because the guy at the store actually explained that to me like a lot of the hard top ones it's just like a door that opens and you have to like push them in there this is more inviting and it comes with this little padded bed that you can take out and she loves this like type of fuzzy material so this is a perfect example of where i would spray the catnip when i first bought this i would just spray the bed in here just to give her that like familiar scent and then also it has a little breathing hole on this side or for them to like stick their head out or whatever and then this side opens halfway so same thing just to like get their head out or just to get a little air or whatever it is um this was so convenient so easy i literally threw and there's like a little greenie in there and her little sushi toy these are the toys i was talking about earlier i feel like this is a classic cat toy like this size i do still like to have this just kind of like i said just to throw this in there to make her feel a little bit more at home but this cat carrier like truly in a rush going to the ER felt so nice so nice and simple love the double handle she's not like bumping into the walls in there and it just makes sense I love it there's pockets on the side I threw her harness and leash on the side and we were all good to go and she honestly really loved it like this bag is making me more excited to bring her more places with me if I visit Kyle on a long-term weekend I would love to like take her there with me on a weekend maybe um she was great in the car ride which was just amazing so it was expensive but i honestly think it's so worth it because this just like has everything that i couldn't even imagine in a cat carrier that is just like it's just nice it's nice quality and i don't regret paying the price i did for it because it worked out really really well last thing i want to talk about is the cat tower that i bought when i first got her it's out in the living room so i'm not gonna go show you it's like messy out there i'll pop a picture on the screen but i literally bought it off chewy it was 40 dollars, which is the cheapest cat tower i've ever seen and it is the best cat tower the color's perfect i actually think there's multiple colors of it um and i love all the multi-levels so she uses that all the time we have it like in front of our door wall so she literally has a view of the lake and she loves it um i actually also put her food her dry food bowl up there sometimes because i do feed her wet food and dry food so i always have her dry food standing out and i'll put it up on the tower high up so the dogs don't get to it and i think she loves likes that and she knows that that's her little like extra eating snacky spot um if she's not getting her wet food meal so that's kind of nice and a little tip that you can put your cat bowls up on the tower and she loves it and it's nice if you do have dogs that get into it so 
I think those are all the products. Um, I hope you guys like found something interesting in here and this wasn't like a stupid obvious video. I'm gonna go find little Olive Girl so she can say hi in this video because I feel like that's just right. And also so we can take a little thumbnail picture. So I'm gonna be right back. Okay, here's little baby. She was sleeping in the kitchen with our little Chihuahua. Say hi, honey. She still has her cone on from her little eye cut. Um, it's this eye on this side but it's definitely doing so much better and her eyes actually look really good right now. I'm just like being extra cautious with this. I wish I could take the cone off, but I'd rather be safe than sorry and I'm trying to keep it on for a couple more days um, and until she's done with her eye drops and medicine, but she's just been so sweet and like lazy lately because of her meds obviously, so it's kind of cute <laughs> if I have to like find a positive in it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, what are you doing? If you don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you should. It's just at Emily Jean Beauty. Um, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, you should definitely subscribe so you can see more content of me and Olive. She's literally in every vlog. She's like, Mom, put me down. Here. So yeah, that completes this video. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you in my next one. Bye.